Fulcrum 7, April 1, 2022. Religion professor at Southern campaigns for more women pastors in fundraiser. An article by Newshound. Alan Parker is a professor in the religion department at Southern Adventist University. In an effort to raise $25,000 for scholarships for women pastors, he quotes from the book Evangelism, page 469, and Testimonies, volume 6, page 322. Saith Parker, In order to support and encourage women who feel God is calling them to pastoral ministry, we invite you to partner with us to grow the Women Pastoral Ministry Endowed Scholarship at Southern Adventist University. Ellen White foresaw the need. When a great and decisive work is to be done, God chooses men and women to do this work, and it will see the loss if the talents of both are not combined. Evangelism, page 469. She states that the Holy Spirit prepares workers, both men and women, to become pastors. Testimonies for the Church, volume 6, page 322. Unfortunately, Parker lifts these quotes from their historical context in order to try to make it fit the SDA female pastoral agenda, often known to SDA circles as WO, Women's Ordination. Elder Ted Wilson has provided a satisfactory answer on his blog page to this LNG White statement regarding men and women pastors. Here it is. As you may know, when looking at any quote, whether it is from the Spirit of Prophecy, the Bible, or er elsewhere, it's important to understand its context. So I'm providing links to each statement so everyone can study it for themselves. Quote, It is the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit of God that prepares workers, both men and women, to become pastors to the flock of God. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 6, page 322. And a link here is provided to the source. Context. This quotation comes from the chapter titled, The Canvasser, a Gospel Worker. As one reads this quote in context, see the link above, it's clear that the entire chapter is focused on the important work of the canvasser. Mrs. White details the work of canvassers, referring to them as pastors to the flock of God. She writes, It is the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit of God that prepares workers, both men and women, to become pastors to the flock of God. And they cherish the thought that Christ is their companion. A holy awe, a sacred joy, will be felt by them amid their trying experiences and all their tests. They will learn how to pray as they work. They will be educated in patience, kindness, affability, and helpfulness. Testimony 6, page 322. In this chapter, she contrasts the pastoral work of the canvasser with a minister of the gospel, stating that it would be good for the gospel ministers to obtain experience as canvassers. Today, we would use the word pastor and minister interchangeably, and in fact, the term pastor is now more common. However, when the book was written, ordained gospel ministers were referred to as ministers. Ted Wilson Observations We should not rest 100-year-old statements from their context in order to promote agenda that is not found in the Bible. Within the last two months, there have been numerous unbiblical anathemas occurring in our church, including transgender confusion, unauthorized female ordinations, and a neo-pagan sacred transgender transition ceremony for an ex-SDA pastor performed by the former senior female pastor of one of our Seventh-day Adventist universities. This is where women pastors are taking the church, farther and farther left. The last thing we need is more of them. Part of the motivation behind this women's ordination agenda is good old money. More students means more tuition money, and colleges like more students. It makes the bottom line look good, even if it comes at the cost of biblical fidelity. The solution is to do it God's way. His way is found in the Holy Scriptures, and He will guide, protect, and bless us when we follow them. A link to this article has been provided in the description. 
and thanks for listening.